We use traffic signals in our cities. And we look at this as a fair trade-off, right? When the light is green, we just go very quickly. When the light is red, we have to sit and wait. And we accept this because we think of it as efficient. Yet, it's anything but efficient. Traffic signals do allow you to go very quickly when you get the right of way. When you don't, you have to sit and go zero. If you average out that speed over time, what you find is that the average travel speed is actually very low. 9, 10, 11 miles per hour. It's very, very low. What if we design streets for 10 miles an hour? What if we design them for 15 miles an hour? What we would find is that we no longer needed most of our traffic signals. Most of our intersections could be safely navigated with a roundabout or even having an open kind of intersection if you were traveling at those types of neighborhood speeds. We have the traffic signals and we put them in because our speeds are very high. But if our speeds were very low, we actually could get to where we're going more quickly without having to sit at traffic signals. And here's the kicker, it would actually be safer and cost less. Engineers know and understand this, but they have an obsession with speed. They have speed as the default. And so they're unable to consider a world with lower speeds and more shared space, more open intersections. That's the world we need to get to because that's a world that's gonna build us great places. My name is Chuck Marone, and that is my confession.